never really done a video on this topic, but I was thinking, you know, about workplaces and the workplace environment and our mental health and well-being in the workplace. I think, you know, sometimes we don't think about it unless we have our own experiences um, or difficulties in the workplace with our mental health, with our well-being. And this may be due to uh, something happening with colleagues, managers, uh, you know, the toxicity in a workplace. And it varies for each person. It varies for each workplace and depends on the situation itself. It's very complex. But I think it's important that, you know, you know your rights as a person and that your mental well-being and your overall health is being respected. And, you know, you're addressing any disputes or anything that's happening and keeping a log of it. And I think it's important that, you know, we join a reunion or join a trade union that can stand for you uh, if something like that. So, I, you know, I will join a union and they will stand by you. And it depends on the situation itself. And, you know, like toxic environments aren't good. And we spend a long time of our lives uh, at work, in the workplace. Um, if you're self-employed, that may be different. But, you know, depending on the environment, you know, you don't want to feel uncomfortable, you want to feel safe. And, you know, people should respect you as a person, your well-being. And you're going to come across people that you don't get on with. And it's how you react in those situations and how you work with that person. And maybe you might, might have to communicate with that person or people. And, you know, if you don't address things or you don't deal with it, then it will stay there and it'll get worse over time. And that isn't good for anybody. So I think it's really, really important we think about our well-being in the workplace. And I think a lot of people sometimes don't bring up this topic. They don't deal with things that are happening at work because they're afraid of the repercussions of that they may lose their job. And, you know, if they are in a certain hierarchy system uh, or what other people are going to think about them and all of these things... And that just adds to the fear and the anxiety of, you know, bringing it to the surface. But by bringing it to the surface, you are dealing with it. And, you you know, a lot of people don't know how to deal with these situations in the right way. The right way is joining a union and addressing it and logging it down and having evidence or recordings and logging everything that is happening. And therefore, you have more evidence and you have a better case and understanding of the the situation. And I think it's important that people, you know, revise this and they look into it if they are experiencing toxicity, bullying, harassment, whatever it is in their work environment.